track us. The galaxy's most unpredictable Star Trek podcast. Hey guys, I just finished watching Picard uh, season three, the finale. That's the end of the road. Uh, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this. So if you have not watched it, uh, turn away, turn away right now. Uh, anyways, man, uh, that finale. I loved it. I loved it. I think it, it uh, tied up a bunch of the loose ends. There's a few kind of stragglers, but overall it, it's everything we needed it to be. Um, there was some great, uh, resolution to a lot of it. I think um, we saw a lot of character growth for Picard. Uh, I am excited that they totally set up Star Trek Legacy. Uh, if they don't announce that anytime soon, they're crazy. Um, I have a feeling they're going to wait till STLV to announce it just because that's where they announced Picard, but whatever. Um, I've been wrong before with their marketing, so we'll see. Uh, other than that, man, uh, the show was great. We got to see uh, Vox as as a Borg. We got to see um, uh, the Borg Queen. Uh, I did get very much some uh, Return of the Jedi vibes on this thing. Uh, you've got the the Borg Queen kind of looking like the Emperor, um, you know, especially in the Last Jedi, where where she's kind of half of what she used to be, but attached to a machine. Um, but the Return of the Jedi vibes was because they had to take the ship into the Death Star, or I mean the Borg Cube, sorry, and they had to blow it up from the center um, to to end everything and, and to stop it all. So yeah, um, definitely uh, Star Trek has has embraced its Star Wars-ness, so there you go. Uh, can't wait to talk about it with the guys. We will see you guys on Sunday. Uh, talk to you later. <laughs>